I would like to talk to you about an exciting opportunity. I just need 30 minutes of your time to explain it, but it has the potential to transform your life. I'm talking about multi-level marketing companies, or MLMs, companies like Mary Kay, Rodan and Fields, uh, New Skin, Amway and Herbalife. They sell different products, but generally MLMs have two main things in common. First, you don't see them on store shelves. You buy them through distributors like uh, friends, uh, family and co-workers. And secondly, those distributors are always looking for more people to join them. And they have a pretty attractive message. Why Herbalife? Because you get to be your own boss, earn extra money, work from home, raise your own children, you can name your own hours, make part-time or full-time money, paying the bills, share this video with 10 people that you care about, that you love, that you adore, that you admire, 20 people, 30 people, come on, what are you waiting for? 100 people, share with everybody, they want what we have, we got it. Okay, hold on. I I'm supposed to share that with 10 people I love, adore and admire. <laughs> That's a tough ask, let's see. Um, there are the judges on this season of Project Runway, that's three. Uh, oh, there's Tim Gunn, that's obviously four. Uh, if you count Tim Gunn twice, that's five. But I'm still five short and I am out now. And before you brush this industry off, you should know collectively, it did around $36 billion in retail sales last year in the US. You probably know someone who is considering joining an MLM or who already has and is posting about it 10 times a day on Facebook or Instagram. And if you do know someone like that or have considered signing up yourself, this story is important. Because let me explain how the system is supposed to work. Generally, distributors have two main ways to make money. Sell the product itself, whether it's uh, makeup, vitamins or health shakes, and earn money on those sales. And, and this is key, recruit other people into the company and get money based on their sales and the sales of people they recruit in turn. Just look at Vima. Uh, a few years ago, a hidden camera caught a then distributor for that company walking a prospective recruit through just how easy it can be. Let's say you signed up three friends. Okay. So then you and I would help those three friends sign up their three friends okay. and get their $700. Okay. Now there's nine people there, right? Then we help those nine people sign up their three to six friends and they get a $700. So everyone kind of gets their money back. Wait, you kind of get your money back? That's as reassuring as hearing a doctor say he kind of knows where your appendix is. <laughs> oh, it's probably somewhere near the spleen. And if you are thinking, well, hold on, that business structure sounds familiar, isn't that a pyramid scheme? Well, there was a journalist waiting outside to ask the exact same question. It's not an illegal pyramid scheme. It's a direct selling network marketing company. Is it shaped like a pyramid, the business it structure? It is shaped like a pyramid, yes. But you're saying it's not an illegal pyramid it's scheme. It's not an illegal pyramid scheme. Oh, I get it. So it's not a pyramid, it's just pyramid shaped. You know, like a Dorito or an Angry Bird or just a pile of bullshit. <laughs> But let's put that pyramid question aside for a moment, because from the outside, these companies do have the trappings of legitimacy. Many have high-profile celebrity endorsers. Uh, Vima had noted science expert Jenny McCarthy. Uh, <laughs> Advocare has esteemed ball thrower Drew Brees. And an MLM called Max International had this guy. After more than a year of due diligence, Gene and I joined Max International as home-based distributors and media spokespersons. Oh, to be a fly on the wall while Gina and Chuck were poring over the numbers during that year-long due diligence session. <laughs> Gina with an adding machine, Chuck randomly kicking stuff. <laughs> It'd be like watching Lennon and McCartney write Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> Still, for many MLMs, the biggest celebrity is their founder, who can enjoy cult-like status. Just look at J.R. Reidinger, CEO of Market America. At company conferences, the guy makes quite an entrance. <laughs> Okay, fourth string wedding chapel Elvis, calm the f down. <laughs> and that's just his walk on. Once he gets going, he puts on a real show, demonstrating how you can pump money, uh, dramatizing the rat race by sweatily running around in a giant wheel, and screaming at the gravestone of Joe Nobody, who never fulfilled his true potential. Joe, come on, man. The dreams you told me about, we can actually do them now. We don't have to wait, man. It works and I'm doing it, and I want to help you do it because it's so good. Joe, this is amazing. We can, we can have vacations and sailboats, and we can have multiple homes, and you can give your wife 
the, 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 the jewelry that she deserves, man. You're going to be a hero. Come on, Joe, let's do it. Get up, Joe, get up. Before it's too late, get up. Holy shit. <laughs> All I can say is, thank goodness funerals don't have a speak now or forever hold your peace section. <laughs> because he would be at every cemetery delivering motivational speeches. She lived a good life, f you, your grandmother died a loser. Come back to life, Ethel. You can still have that yacht. Come back to life. <laughs> and the, the dangling of vast lifestyle improvements is at the heart of the MLM pitch. Uh, their materials feature flashy cars and luxury travel that you can achieve. And just watch a distributor from Longevity walk you through a future dream scenario in exquisite detail. In two years, this is what's going to happen to you. You are going to you're going to drive to your work. You're going to walk into your boss's office. You're going to sit down, and you're going to quit your job. You're going to explain that that little pyramid scheme thing that you almost got terminated for last year. You're now an entrepreneur, and you're going to be doing that full time. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. Did you just say pyramid scheme and then almost got terminated? And then you're going to go out to the parking lot. You're going to get into your silver Mercedes that Longevity has paid for, and you're going to drive home. Oh, no, wait, actually, first you're going to drive to the bank. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I hate to dwell on this, but you definitely said pyramid scheme back then. <laughs> but, but I'm sorry, now we're suddenly going to the bank. And you're going to walk into the bank, and you're going to deposit your coding bonus. And the lady's going to say, will that be checking or savings? And you're going to say, yeah, I don't really care, I get these all the time. And then the lady's going to say, ha ha, that's fantastic, but I actually need to know which account this goes into. And you're going to say, makes no difference to me. And she's going to say, but I can't deposit this unless you specify which account it's policy. And you're going to say, it's all gravy. And she's going to say, how about checking? And you're going to say, I'm loving it. And she's going to say, do I need to get security? And you're going to say, the account ending in 8424, please. <laughs> now. Longevity told us that that woman's claims are not authorised by the company and are against Longevity policy, which forbids income claims. Although, that video was taken at one of their official events, and the woman, Denise Chenault, is featured with her husband on the company website with the words, Denise and Tom Chenault are Longevity. <laughs> and come on! You don't let someone embody your company if you don't agree with them. If Flo turned out to run a dogfighting ring, <laughs> Progressive would wipe her off their website immediately. And by the way, you know that's coming. You can see it in her eyes. <laughs> there are dead dogs dancing in there. <laughs> but, but you cannot deny the picture that she paints is enticing. Who doesn't want to tell their boss to go f themselves? <laughs> Half my staff would do it right now if they could. <laughs> but MLMs hold out the hope that if you work hard, you can take control of your life, start your own business, and help your family. But how real is the opportunity? Well, let's take a look at just one of these companies in depth, Herbalife. You saw its pitch earlier. It was the one that you were supposed to send to 10, 20, 100 people. It sells nutritional supplements like shakes and vitamins, and it's one of the biggest MLMs around, with net sales of $4.5 billion last year. It has uh, celebrities who talk up its benefits from superstar athletes like Cristiano Ronaldo to pretty much the last person you're expecting to see in this piece. Well, first of all, you have a great product. That makes all the difference. Then we got to tell everybody you're a product of the product. Well, I am a product of the product. It has every combination of things that I like. It's a very good product uh, delivered by really good people. Yes. That is Madeleine Albright talking to Herbalife CEO, claiming she's a product of the product. So forget studying at Columbia and Johns Hopkins. If you want to be like the first female Secretary of State, just chug a couple of vanilla-adjacent Nutri-Shakes a day and thank her in the morning. <laughs> oh, and about those products. In its early days, Herbalife was accused of overstating their health benefits, claiming in the 80s that one product helped relieve everything from venereal disease to tumours to bedwetting. <laughs> And back then, their founder, Mark Hughes, was asked by a Senate subcommittee to answer experts who'd called his diet products into question, and this was his response. I think if they're so expert in weight loss, why were they so fat yesterday? It seems to me 
And I'm not trying to make any jokes, but I do think that they ought to use our product. First, he seems great. <laughs> but, but second, why would anyone in the 80s take Herbalife to lose weight? They had cocaine. <laughs> Come to think of it, we also have cocaine. The point is, cocaine is an effective weight loss option. <laughs> it's not where I thought I was going with this, but it is where we have ended up. Now, to be fair, that was 30 years ago, and a lot has changed at the company since then. Although, when ABC News filmed some Herbalife distributors just two years ago, they found some claims that seemed to echo the company's past. This Herbalife distributor in New York City told us the story of a woman who overcame an inoperable brain tuber thanks to Herbalife. Whatever it is that the product did, it helped her a lot. New recruits were told Herbalife products help to treat heart disease. Uh, 24 years ago, I had early congestive heart failure. Nothing worked. And even helped one woman get pregnant. I'm 40 years old, I'm my first pregnant. Well, that is obviously bullshit. Nutritional shakes cannot help you get pregnant. There are only three liquids that can do that. A glass of Merlot, the honey-smooth music of Sade, and good old-fashioned jizz. <laughs> and... and people... People might be making claims like that because they are desperate to move excess product. You see, broadly speaking, under Herbalife system, uh, distributors can get bonuses and massive discounts on products based on how much they buy, which can be a huge incentive to buy in bulk. Uh, for instance, let's say you're selling Herbalife's disgusting creamy chicken soup powder for $13.35 a box. The cheaper you can buy it from Herbalife, the more profit you could make. But to stay qualified for those higher discounts, you have to keep buying product. And it might not be easy to sell that extra soup because A, it's a little pricey, and B, we actually tried it and it tastes like the wood shavings inside a gerbil cage. <laughs> and as one former top distributor will tell you, if you are just accumulating product, that can lead to a problem common enough to have a special name. We'd call it garage qualified. They would, uh stack as much product as they can in their garage, and at some point they would realize that they have to quit. So people buy product more than they can, than they can sell. It sits in a garage. What happens? There's got to be an end point here at some point. When they run out of money, uh, there's an end point. Exactly. So Herbalife may be an industry leader in worthless crap people stick in their garage, along with, of course, the PT Cruiser. <laughs> The car that looks like a sporty version of a hearse. <laughs> and, and as a distributor, it is not easy to figure out exactly how you are going to make money. Just watch this Herbalife video from a few years ago explaining one narrow part of their insanely convoluted compensation plan. OK, here we go. Take a look at this example. Now, when E places a 4,000 volume point order at 42%, this counts as personal volume for you. But since this qualifies E to supervisor with a one-month qualification, that volume now becomes encumbered for everyone in the upline. Remember, each upline distributor needs to accumulate 1,000 unencumbered volume points if they want to qualify for supervisor as well. It's simple. <laughs> And if you accumulate 10,000 unencumbered volume points, those are grouped into an unencumbered batch, which qualifies Benedict Cumberbatch for one unencumbered cucumber cummerbund. <laughs> and while, well, yes, that is absolute nonsense, it makes exactly as much sense as everything that came before it. In fact, to hear another former Herbalife distributor tell it, your main focus in the business might be less on products than on the people below you. You don't make money from selling products. You make a little, not much, not enough to pay the bills that are racking up. You make money from signing people up. Of course. It's like that famous salesmanship motto from Glen Gary Glen Ross. A-B-S-T-C-O-S-T-O-S. -S -S. Always be selling the concept of selling to other salespeople. <laughs> and at this point, that pyramid scheme question that we set aside earlier has to be addressed. Because in broad terms, if distributors' earnings come primarily from selling products to actual customers outside of the company, that is probably a legitimate business. But if those earnings come primarily from selling product to the distributors you've recruited below you and their sales of product to the distributors they've recruited below them or within the company, that may be a pyramid scheme. 
And any business that is set up that way has a big problem for a reason that, and I will warn you, does involve math. <laughs> Almost all of these schemes tell you that you can make money by just recruiting three or four or five, let's say, five. Then you let the five do their five. That gives you 25. What they don't show you is that you could only do that 13 cycles and you would exceed the population of the Earth. It's true. Within 14 cycles, you run out of people. And that is assuming that everyone on Earth wants to be a protein shake distributor. <laughs> and I can think of at least a few people who have better things to do. Uh, Alan Alder, for instance. Or Malala Yousafzai. Or Morton Harkett, lead singer of AHA. The guy is still swimming in Take On Me money. He doesn't need this shit. <laughs> and... And Herbalife CEO, Michael Johnson, has an interesting way of deflecting that whole pyramid scheme question. I go back to any company. I started in Disney as a uh, director, and then I went to be executive vice president, and then president of the international entity of the company. So I moved up six or seven levels. And at the top was sitting the CEO of the company, Michael Eisner. Is that a pyramid? Is that any different than what we're doing here? Yes! <laughs> It is completely different. Disney was a corporate ladder. Those were all salaried positions with benefits. The company wasn't banking on you personally filling your garage with cases of unsold DVDs of The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. <laughs> but, but Johnson could have made a stronger non-pyramid case in that interview if he could have just shown how much money distributors get from selling product to actual retail customers. But conveniently, Herbalife didn't keep records of those figures. Now, unfortunately for them, the FTC recently finished a multi-year investigation into the company and filed a blistering complaint, walking right up to the line of outright calling it a pyramid scheme. Uh, they alleged Herbalife's compensation program doesn't incentivize retail sales, but rather the recruiting of additional participants who fuel the enterprise by making wholesale purchases of product, which sounds like, you know, how pyramid schemes work. <laughs> and when people pointed this out, the FTC chair made an amazing statement. It sounds like what you're saying is that this company has all the hallmarks of a pyramid scheme. Isn't that right? You know, our focus isn't on the label. The word py pyramid does not appear in our complaint. That is true. They were not determined not to have been a pyramid. Think about what she just said there. <laughs> Not determined not to be a pyramid. How is that not a huge warning sign? If the FDA announced, we have not determined cotton candy not to be clown pubes, <laughs> you would never risk eating that shit ever again. <laughs> now, now, who knows why the FTC stopped short? Uh, perhaps it ensured Herbalife agreed to a settlement in which they neither admitted uh, nor denied wrongdoing, but did pay $200 million and agree to significant new changes. But the contents of this complaint are mind-blowing. Uh, the FTC claims that the overwhelming majority of Herbalife distributors who pursue the business opportunity make little or no money, and a substantial percentage lose money. In fact, the FTC even stated Herbalife is going to have to start operating legitimately. <laughs> which implies they hadn't been up till then. <laughs> And yet, amazingly, Michael Johnson characterized this as a victory. Hey, we've got great news. We've reached an agreement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission that ensures that our mission to improve people's lives will continue to thrive. I have to tell you, this is really good news. And it comes at a time when our business is growing bigger and better than ever before. Oh, f*** you. <laughs> he, he, didn't just, he didn't just polish that turd. He put it in a bottle and convinced people that they could make a fortune selling nutritional turds in their spare time. <laughs> but look, whether Herbalife is a pyramid, not a pyramid, or not not a pyramid, it is true that Herbalife is growing. And a lot of that growth has come from Latino communities, where Herbalife has been aggressively expanding for years. They even bought a sponsorship on the hit telenovela La Fea Mas Bea. It is, it, it's very subtle. Just, just see if you can spot it. Mira. Se llama Herbalife. Esto te va a ayudar a tener más energía y te va a ayudar también a enfrentar todos los problemas que tienes. Créeme. ¿De verdad? Yo lo tomo todos los días. Ay, a ver. Aparte está delicioso. Sí. 
If that is happening on the show, I can't imagine the real drama happening in the commercials. Uh, Mr. Geico Lizard, I want to say 15% on car insurance, but how can I when you are sleeping with my wife? <laughs> And the fact a large percentage of Herbalife's business comes from Latinos is a point of pride for Michael Johnson. We call it the Herbalife family, and we're not ashamed of that. We're very proud of that. The Latino, the, the blood, if you will, the mo you know, it, it's in this company, and it feels great. Oh, I love the blood of the Latino community. I just want to bathe in it. I want to bathe in your blood, Latinos. How's this sales pitch going? I feel like it's going bueno. <laughs> but to those supplying that Latino blood, it can feel less than great as this community meeting of those who feel burned by Herbalife shows. Este negocio llegué a perder la cantidad de 22 mil dólares. En nueve meses yo perdí 16 mil dólares. Her husband continuously reminds her about the $8,000 that she owes to them. El producto se vence. So si no te decías, tratabas de venderlo por lo que tú lo compraste es una gran pierda. Ella sabía que yo no tenía ese dinero. Y ella está viendo y le digo, siendo una amiga mía. Y yo y ya cuando le dije, yo, ¿qué pasó? Le dije, yo no le veo ninguna ganancia. Y dijo, tú tienes que meter a gente abajo de ti para que tú puedas ver una ganancia. Y le dije, ¿sabes qué? Ahí es donde tú te equivocaste y yo no voy a estafar a nadie más. Soy yo perdí, pero nadie más va a perder por mí. You know what? Now might be a good time to point out when someone says their blood is in me and it feels great, that is what a f***ing vampire says. <laughs> And friends of yours may say, well, that, that's just Herbalife. My MLM is different. But there are echoes of what you've seen across this industry. For instance, Herbalife is far from the only company that has made bold product claims regarding health. When I started, my body fat was 37.5, and now it's right around 16, 17. The pain and the um, lethargy that go along with fibromyalgia is gone. Three days into the experience, I was feeling like 25 years younger. When I found out they had a PET formulation of liquid biocell, that's when I knew I had something very exclusive. After putting Rembrandt on liquid biocell PET for three months, he started walking again. Okay, first of all, obviously, good boy Rembrandt. <laughs> But second, are you sure he didn't just summon the energy to walk because he was desperate to get away from the eyedropper of liquid nonsense you were shoving in your pet's mouths? And just like Herbalife, MLMs can often have Scientology-like levels for you to ascend through. Uh, with USANA, uh, you may have gone from sharer to believer to builder to achiever and beyond. And at Kiani, you pass through a series of ranks with the names of gemstones, as uh, one distributor explained at a company conference. I want to talk about a millionaire mindset. Because if you got involved in Kayani to become a jade, you're selling yourself short. If you got involved in Kayani to become a diamond, you're not thinking big enough yet. If you haven't already visualized yourself at double black diamond, you need to kick yourself in the rear. Now, double black diamond is technically a skiing term for particularly dangerous slopes. <laughs> And I'm thinking, maybe you shouldn't choose a term that basically says, if you even try this, you'll go downhill fast and may end up in a fucking ditch. <laughs> and the garage qualified issue is not exclusive to Herbalife either. It's come up with multiple other MLMs, including Mary Kay. I saw with my own two eyes the warehousing of the product, meaning they had basements full of it, or closets full of it, or garages full of it. Take a look at this. Inventory from a consultant who is leaving the company. She agreed to show us boxes of product she said she bought to keep her status. Wow. So it seems some distributors may have been more customer than salesperson. That's like finding out Jamie Lee Curtis was actually the one eating all the Activia. <laughs> I eat 146 containers a day and I shit like a machine gun. <laughs> and, and Mary Kay and Herbalife will tell you that stockpiling is uncommon and you can return unsold products for a refund. But you should know those refunds can be partial or may involve resigning. The point is, MLMs may present themselves as a great opportunity, but your chance of success is actually remote. Just look at the income disclosure statements. Kearney's shows that just under 40% of active distributors received a cheque for $10 or more, meaning that most didn't even make that. 
And Newskins says around 18% of active distributors earned commission checks, which is actually worse than it sounds, because active distributors represent only around 36% of total distributors. So if you do the math, which they conveniently didn't, that would mean that 93% of all Newskin distributors receive zero commissions from the company in an average month. So even if you have never heard of Newskin before, it may be paying you just as much as it does 93% of all its distributors. Now, MLMs will insist those percentages are misleading. They will tell you that many of their distributors aren't even in the business to make money. They just went to all that trouble of signing up to get discounts on their amazing rhino ejaculate, or as they call it, soup. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll say individual distributors like that Vima guy uh, and those uh, Herbalife reps don't speak for them and that their claims are against company policies and violators get disciplined. And most importantly, they will all insist they are not pyramids. And no one claims that in a more spectacular manner than J.R. Reidinger, who has an airtight case based on spelling the word pyramid backwards. We're actually the anti-pyramid, the reverse pyramid, the Demorite. We are in a Demorite! <laughs> he sounds like a cult leader about to demand his followers drink poison. And it frankly doesn't help that he looks like Jim Jones to a genuinely creepy degree. <laughs> but it is hard for the FTC to investigate these companies. The industry is large and opaque, and pursuing a case is a long, arduous process. They've only brought around two dozen pyramid scheme cases against MLMs in the last four decades. And MLMs have surprising lobbying strength. Uh, there's actually a direct selling caucus in Congress with more than 40 bipartisan members, including Jason Chaffetz, who worked at New Skin for more than a decade. As for Herbalife, it has gone to remarkable lengths to protect its name uh, in Washington. Uh, it's recruited two former top FTC officials to work for the company, and it's willing to be incredibly petty as well. Uh, because remember that clip of Herbalife victims? Uh, that is from an upcoming documentary called Betting on Zero. And when it played at a DC film festival earlier this year, the screening had 173 empty seats because an Herbalife lobbying firm reportedly bought them out. And that's not just petty, it's stupid. If you don't want people to see a movie, you don't need to buy out seats, just put up posters saying, starring Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> done. <laughs> Job done. Nobody's there. But even if the government did suddenly decide to crack down on this industry, which seems unlikely, many MLMs have been expanding overseas. Here is a video from India. We are changing people's lives. You are the brand. We are growing every day. Let's march towards one million, one billion, one region. They are lucky Gandhi isn't alive to hear that song <laughs> because it would really test his belief in non-violent protests. <laughs> you know what? It. Everybody pick up a rock and meet me at Herbalife headquarters. <laughs> that song was unforgivable. <laughs> Just look online and you can find videos of gigantic Herbalife events around the world. Uh, here is one in South Africa. Here is one in Mongolia. Here's one in Venezuela. Here's one in Malaysia. And here is Michael Johnson in Mexico doing this. Buenos dias, Mexico! Wow. I do not say this lightly, but that is douchebaggery at a double black diamond level. <laughs> so the point is, what can we do? Because good, hard-working people are going to keep getting caught up in these companies. There has to be a way to tell the world about the dangers of MLMs, and I think I might know the perfect distribution network. But as this video is for Spanish speakers, and I do not speak Spanish, I need to hand over at this point to Jaime Camille. Yes. 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 Let's do this. Yes. Good. Yes. You got it? Sharp dresser. Let's get it. I got it. Let's do it. I got this. Let's do it. I got this. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Esta noche vamos a iniciar nuestro propio esquema piramidal. Hashtag, este es un esquema de pirámide. <laughs> Porque si conocen a alguien que está pensando en unirse a un sistema de mercadeo multinivel, esta es una gran oportunidad. Déjenme mostrarles cómo funciona. Este es 
un producto fantástico para que lo compartan con su familia y sus amigos. Se trata de un video de cómo el mercadeo multinivel es lo peor de lo peor. Para explicarles mejor, al compartir esto, ustedes se pueden convertir en un distribuidor independiente de un video sobre los peligros del mercadeo multinivel. Esto lo pueden hacer a tiempo completo o parcial y le van a dar a su familia el estilo de vida que realmente se merecen, que es justamente no verse envueltos en esta mierda. ¿Necesitan una prueba científica de su funcionamiento? Muy bien. Le dijimos a un perro que íbamos a producir este video. Y miren lo que ocurrió. El perro está caminando. Bien. ¿Podía caminar antes? Lo siento, pero no guardamos esos registros. <risa> Así es como funciona. Simplemente vean este video y después reenvíenlo a cinco personas y díganles que lo reenvíen a cinco más y que el ciclo se repita una y otra vez. Después de 14 ciclos, cada habitante de este planeta lo habrá visto y llegaremos al punto en el que vamos a tener que f***ar como locos para repoblar el planeta para verlo. También, si esto llega a cada habitante del planeta, si estás viendo, Beyoncé, soy un gran fan. Y si tienen amigos que hablan inglés que crean que deban ver el video, también tenemos una versión en inglés. No está subtitulada y el segmento va a ser actuado por Juan Oliver. Hola, 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 hola Jaime. Hola, Juan. Hola. Definitivamente soy una versión mucho más atractiva de ti en todos los aspectos. Sí. Así que, por favor, compartan este video para poner fin a que la gente se vea envuelta en estos esquemas. Porque el mercadeo multinivel, multinivel está afectando a la gente y necesitamos correr la voz de sus peligros. Así que, por favor, envíenlo a 20, a 30 o 100 personas. ¿Qué esperamos? El sistema va a funcionar. Y no es una Edimari, es una anti-Edimari. Esto es una pirámide, ¿cierto? ¡Cierto! ¡Esta es una pirámide! ¡Estamos en una, una pirámide. pirámide! ¡Sí! Este es nuestro programa. Compartan el video y nos vemos la próxima semana. Buenas noches. Juan, gracias. Gracias, gracias.